With the fourth pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, the Los Angeles Sparks select Rakia Jackson, <laughs> University of Tennessee. Well, Rakia Jackson, the number four overall pick after a fantastic finish to her senior season. Drea talked earlier about the possibility of having Jackson's wing guard skills with size joining one of the posts. That's exactly what LA gets. Cameron Brink at two, and now Rakia Jackson at four. A foundation for the Sparks to build upon and one that has to be very exciting for that fan base. How about Jackson? Just one of five SEC players to average at least 20 points and five rebounds in multiple seasons over the last 25 seasons. Rakia Jackson was the most coveted wing in this draft. Great size and athletic ability. Has an explosive first step that gets her to the rim. Can post up smaller players and has terrific footwork to finish around the rim. She's shown that she can be very good in the pick and roll and isolation situations. As a former Lady Vol, I have to say we are all so proud of Rakia and her journey. And as a basketball analyst, I've been saying all season, she's a pro. Her ability to hit tough shots. In her last game at Tennessee, she put up 33 points on 60% from the field. She's a bucket, she's a natural scorer, and a great choice for L.A. And in L.A., yeah, they're excited. A little watch party, they're ready to go. Rakia Jackson is the newest member of the L.A. Sparks, and she is with Holly. <laughs> well, you know, as we look at your skill set, Rakia, I believe that you are one of the most ready-made pros to step in and make an impact this season in the WNBA. What is it about your game that the Sparks are going to be like, okay, yes, she is ready to go? Yeah, um, I feel like I'm just very versatile. I can play multiple positions. Um, there's still room to grow, and I'm willing to just be a sponge and continue to be a better player. You're, of course, yes. Your mom, Cayenne, is here tonight. She was a great player herself. She won a championship at a, a lower college division, but was a terrific player. How has your family helped you get to this moment? Uh, my family is the reason why I'm here. I do everything for them. You know, if it wasn't for my brothers, I wouldn't have even picked up a basketball. And, you know, my mom just instilling greatness and knowledge and, you know, always keeping God number one. Um, that just really just made me to the player who I am today. Okay, to the L.A. Sparks fans, you are the first draftee that I think did a wardrobe change from the orange carpet to here. They're getting a little sat, a little sizzle, a little bedazzle. Tell us what the Sparks fans are going to be falling in love with. Um, they're just going to be falling in love with my personality, you know. I just like the... <laughs> As they should. Uh, just everything, you know. I'm just excited to build new relationships, and I'm just ready to win. The greats of the Vols, Lady Vols, Candace Parker played there. You are now stepping into that kind of similar dynasty. What does that mean to you as a Lady Vol? It means a lot. You know, Candace with the Tennessee was at L.A. And just to even be in that conversation is just crazy in itself. So, you know, I just think it's pretty cool. All right. Very cool. Congratulations. The Sparks are so lucky. Thank you.